In the mathematical field of topology, a homeomorphism or topological isomorphism or bicontinuous function is a continuous function between topological spaces that has a continuous, inverse function. Homeomorphisms or the isomorphisms in the category of topological spaces, that is, they are the mappings that preserve all the topological properties of a given space. Two spaces with a homeomorphism between them are called homeomorphic, and from a topological viewpoint they are the same. The word homeomorphism comes from the Greek words mu omicron iota omicron sigma equals similar and mu omicron rho phi eta equals shape, form. Roughly speaking, a topological space is a geometric object and the homeomorphism is a continuous stretching and bending of the object into a new shape. Thus, a square and a circle are homeomorphic to each other, but a sphere and a torus are not. An often repeated mathematical joke is that topologists can't tell the difference between a coffee cup and a donut, since a sufficiently pliable donut could be reshaped to the form of a coffee cup by creating a dimple and progressively enlarging it while preserving the donut hole in a cup's handle. Topology is the study of those properties of objects that do not change when homeomorphisms are applied. Definition A function f x y between two topological spaces and is called a homeomorphism if it has the following properties. f is a bijection. f is continuous. The inverse function f minus 1 is continuous. A function with these three properties is sometimes called bicontinuous. If such a function exists, we say x and y are homeomorphic. A self-homeomorphism is a homeomorphism of a topological space and itself. The homeomorphisms form an equivalence relation on the class of all topological spaces. The resulting equivalence classes are called homeomorphism classes. Examples the unit 2 disk D2 and the unit square in R2 are homeomorphic. The open interval is homeomorphic to the real numbers R for any a less than B equals 1 plus 1, while another such mapping is given by a scaled and translated version of the TAM function. The product space S1 times S1 and the two-dimensional torus are homeomorphic. Every uniform isomorphism and isometric isomorphism is a homeomorphism. The stereographic projection is a homeomorphism between the unit sphere in R3 with a single point removed in the set of all points in R2. If A is a commutative ring with unity, and S is a multiplicative subset of A, then the spectrum spec is homeomorphic to P spec. PS equals if G is a topological group, its inversion map is a homeomorphism. Also, for any, the left translation, the right translation, and the inner automorphism are homeomorphisms. Non-examples room and Rn are not homeomorphic for Mn. The Euclidean real line is not homeomorphic to the unit circle as a subspace of R2. Since the unit circle is compact as a subspace of Euclidean R2 but the real line is not compact. Properties Two homeomorphic spaces share the same topological properties. For example, if one of them is compact, then the other is as well, if one of them is connected, then the other is as well, if one of them is Hausdorff, then the other is as well, their homotopy and homology groups will coincide. Note however that this does not extend to properties defined via a metric, there are metric spaces that are homeomorphic even though one of them is complete and the other is not. A homeomorphism is simultaneously an open mapping and a closed mapping, that is, it maps open sets to open sets and closed sets to closed sets. Every self-homeomorphism in can be extended to a self-homeomorphism of the whole disk. In formal discussion, the intuitive criterion of stretching, bending, Cutting and gluing back together takes a certain amount of practice to apply correctly, it may not be obvious from the description above that. Deforming a line segment to a point is impermissible, for instance. It is thus important to realize that it is the formal definition given above that counts. This characterization of a homeomorphism often leads to confusion with the concept of homotopy. 
which is actually defined as a continuous deformation, but from one function to another, rather than one space to another. In the case of a homeomorphism, envisioning a continuous deformation is a mental tool for keeping track of which points on space X correspond to which points on Y. One just follows them as X deforms. In the case of homotopy, the continuous deformation from one map to the other is of the essence, and it is also less restrictive, since none of the maps involved need to be one-to-one -one or onto. Homotopy does lead to a relation on spaces. Homotopy equivalence. There is a name for the kind of deformation involved in visualizing a homeomorphism. It is an isotopy between the identity map on X and the homeomorphism from X to Y. 